Hello everyone, welcome to this video on field theory. In this video we shall see a result which enables us to create an extension field by adjoining an element to the given field. So let us get started. So let us first look at the result. It says that if Px is any irreducible polynomial is in this polynomial ring f of x and u is the root of that polynomial. So we are given these two things that this is the irreducible polynomial. The second thing is that the uh, this element u, this is the root of this polynomial where not in f but in an extension e of f. Then in that case we can construct f of u. Here you should only use the round brackets. Uh, and what is this f of u? This is the subfield of E which is generated by F as well as U. So that means what you do, you just adjoin some element F uh, onto F, some element U onto F. And the set that is formed by this is given by all those elements in this extension field E such that the irreducible polynomial, whatever was we selected in Px, this irreducible polynomial, this uh, belongs to the integer rings. For this, you have all those elements here such that u is the root of that polynomial in E. So this is one result. The second result says that if the given polynomial Px has degree n, in that case the set 1 u up to u n minus 1, this forms a basis of this extension field f of u over f. That means uh, by uh, this basis, what do we mean? We mean that each element of f of u that can be uniquely expressed as a linear combination of these n vectors. And because the vec uh, this basis, this contains n vectors in it, therefore the degree of the extension field f of u over f that is equal to n. So this is the theorem. So let us first see this use, uh, through an example. Remember in the previous video we saw this example. Here uh, our px that is equivalent to x square minus 2. Now this is an irreducible polynomial if we consider about this uh, polynomial rings of in, uh, having uh, coefficients in rationals because x is equal to square root 2 this is the root for this polynomial and this square root 2 this does not belongs to q but it should uh, so uh, because this x is equal to square root 2 this does not belongs to the field of rational number therefore this polynomial is irreducible moreover according to this result what can we say they say that there is an extension e of f in which this polynomial has a root and uh, what is that polynomial that poly uh, that extension is simply the field and that element adjoined to it the root of the polynomial adjoined to it so here the root of for the polynomial that is equal to square root 2 so we have q square root 2 as the extension field so first uh, implication of the theorem says that q square root 2 this is the subfield of e which is generated by q and square root 2 and uh, this is the extension field that we are talking about moreover the set 1 and square root 2 this set forms the basis set of q square root 2 because here you see the degree of this polynomial is 2 x square minus 2 the, so the degree is 2 therefore we should uh, go up to uh, starting from 1 u we should go up to u raised to power 2 minus 1 and u raised to power 2 minus 1 means we just have to go until u so it would be 1 and u only and u here is square root 2 so this is the basis set and every element of this extension field that can be uniquely expressed as a linear combination of the vector uh, of the elements 1 in square root 2. So this is the example. 
uh, and uh, so you must uh, have noticed the importance of, of this result whenever you are adjoining some element to the given field so that you find the extension field so that you now can say what is the basis set and you can also specify the degree of that particular extension over the given field so let us now prove the prove this result for proving this result we shall assume any polynomial px as an irreducible polynomial and we also suppose that u is the root of this polynomial in the extension e of f further if we denote uh, f of u as the subfield of e then we are to show that this f of u that is represented by this set so this is the first part that we are to prove so we have assumed px to be any irreducible polynomial and u be its root therefore and we have also denoted f of u as the smallest subfield of e which contains f and u so now the thing that we have to prove that this f of u this is equal to f of u now this set has been denoted by this notation where we use the square brackets and for whenever you adjoin some element you use round brackets with it so that means an element u has been adjoined to this field f so that is the notation so for that what we do we uh, we define a map phi from fx to e such that such that phi of any polynomial in fx let us call that polynomial to be b0 plus b1x plus up to bmx raised to power m that is equal to b0 plus b1u plus up to bmu raised to power n that means if you had fx over here so after applying phi onto it you will simply get f of u where this element is obviously in f of x i am sorry this element b0 plus b1x plus up to bm x raised to power m that belongs to f of x so now can you see a clear relationship between these two elements this is from f of x and this element is in e so we have defined a mapping from here to here so we are interested to prove that this mapping is a homomorphism why you'll see that in a minute let us first prove that phi is a homomorphism so for proving an homomorphism what we need to do we need if we take any two elements x uh, say f of x and g of x from the domain that is f of x then phi of f of x plus g of x that should be equal to phi of f of x plus phi of g of x similarly we have to show the same result whenever we have multiplication in place of addition so these th two things we have to prove that means we have to show that the operations of addition and multiplication they are preserved under this mapping so first thing we have considered phi of fx plus B, uh, gx we have assumed two polynomials so you this is the simple calculation so you you can see that phi of fx plus gx that is simply equal to phi of fx plus phi of gx so first property is satisfied similarly for the second property you just have to take two polynomials and you have to multiply them and then apply phi onto it so here also phi of the product of two polynomials is equivalent to phi of first polynomial multiplied by the phi of second polynomial so this these are the simple calculations you can perform therefore in this case also the result is satisfied Th thus we have proved that phi is a homomorphism now phi is a homomorphism let us see what is the kernel for this mapping phi so kernel of phi that would contain because phi we have defined phi from f of x to e that means kernel of phi that will contain polynomials in f of x such that when you apply phi onto it you will obtain a zero that means what uh, by definition phi of f of x that is equal to f of u so that means you should get f of u is equal to zero 
बट कैन यू सी वी हैव अज्यूम्ड इन दी स्टार्टिंग दैट यू इज अ रूट ऑफ द पॉलिनोमियल पी एक्स विच वॉज अ इरिड्यूसिबल पॉलिनोमियल इन एफ ऑफ एक्स देर फॉर क्लियरली बाई दिस अजम्पन वी कैन से दैट द पॉलिनोमियल पी ऑफ एक्स विच वॉज इरिड्यूसिबल पॉलिनोमियल बिलोंग्स टू दिस कर्नल ऑफ फाइव सो वी हैव रीच ऑन टू दिस सो नाउ देर इज अ रिजल्ट a very famous result which you might you might have studied in the previous course is that for any mapping say phi in this case from f of x to e we have the fundamental theorem of homomorphism it says that the image of this mapping phi that is isomorphic to the quotient ring of fx divided by its kernel of phi so this is the fundamental theorem of homomorphism now in this case what is the image of phi the image of phi is basically this set and when is this this is when you take any polynomial here in this form from fx so basically image of the set kernel of uh, image of this phi that is equivalent to some element of this sort that is from e such that this polynomial corresponding polynomial in x belongs to f of x so these things are the same and uh, remember in our question uh, in the given statement of the theorem we have labeled this whole set as cap uh, capital f square bracket cu so this is the notation so that means we have reached over here proving f of u to be isomorphic to f of x by kernel of phi so now in order to have a clear connection we should look what is the this kernel of phi for the mapping this we should uh, we should find what is kernel of phi now you know fx being a polynomial ring is a principal ideal domain this is the very basic property of polynomial rings therefore its kernel that is generated by a single element and what kind of elements are present in this polynomial ring we have polynomials present in this so we assume some polynomial in f of x and we state that this kernel of this mapping phi is generated by this polynomial moreover we have also seen that this irreducible polynomial belongs to the kernel phi so that means we can write the polynomial px as Gen uh, that has been generated from G X because we have considered G X to be the generator of this kernel phi. So it could be written as G X multiplied by some other polynomials, which we call H X. But because this polynomial P X is irreducible, therefore you cannot factor it into two polynomials. If you have factored it into two two polynomials, one of them has to be a scalar. or a unit that means this hx has to be a scalar and it should belong to the field f that means you have something like this p of x is equal to some scalar say h into g of x so basically you get the prod, uh, px as some uh, scalar multiple of gx or in other words you can write uh, this as kernel phi which was generated from gx you can also say that this is also generated from px so we have calculated this kernel phi as generated from the irreducible polynomial px in f of x now this polynomial is irreducible therefore the ideal generated by this uh, polynomial px that would be the maximal ideal this we know from the previous results and the polynomial ring which was divided by the maximal ideal that forms a field this is also a result that we have studied therefore this thing is equal to field so we can call this to be the smallest sub field of the extension field e which contains both the field f and the element u that means we can say that f of u is equal to f of u so the extension field which is obtained by adjoining u to f is basically the set given by f of u defined like this right 
So after having proved result one, let us move on to result two. Result two says if uh, in particular this polynomial p x has degree n, in that case the set one u up to u raised to power n minus one, this set forms a basis of f of u. So this forms the basis whenever you have degree n, you go up to n minus one over f. So we need to prove uh, in order to prove this set to be a basis set the first thing that we have to prove is that the elements these are linearly independent another thing that we have to do is they uh, form the generating set for the given extension field f of u so let us first prove that the given set is a linearly independent set for that what we do we assume these elements in f of u and we have also assumed px to be the same irreducible polynomial which has a root u a over f. You can also call this polynomial to be a minimal polynomial of u over f. That means this polynomial is irreducible in f and it has a root u which is present in some extension of f. Right? So, uh, we assume a contrary statement to whatever we wanted to prove. So in this case, we wanted to prove this to be a linearly independent set. So we have assumed to, this to be linearly dependent. If possible, let this be, let this thing be true. Now, according to definition of linearly dependent set, the these n elements are linearly dependent whenever we have a linear combination of these elements equal to zero. In that case, not all scalars are equal to zero. So this is by definition of linearly dependent set. That means we have a polynomial of this kind and this polynomial is in U, which, uh, which is of degree n minus one. So U satisfies a polynomial of degree n minus one Whose, where the coefficients are from f, that means we got a contradiction because we have assumed that px of degree n, px of degree n is the minimal polynomial which can have u as a root. So, so therefore, in this case, we found a polynomial in which u is a root and which is of degree n minus 1 less than the degree of px which is which provides a contradiction to our assumption that these vectors they are linearly dependent on each other therefore these vectors they are linearly independent so one part to prove this set to be a basis is done now next we need to prove that this set forms a generating set for this extension field f of u so for that what we do we take some element from this and we prove that this element f of u this could be written as a linear combination of the uh, elements from the set 1 u up to u n minus 1 so in this case we uh, we take f of u any random element from this extension field f of u and uh, because we know p of x it belongs to f of x and f of u if it belongs to f of u it implies f of x should belong to f of x this is by virtue of our definition so if f of u is in f of u then f of x is in capital f of x that means uh, we, uh, moreover, we also have defined Px some irreducible polynomial in f of x, right? The minimal polynomial in f of x. Now, this polynomial is also in f of x. This polynomial is also in f of x. That means you can write by division algorithm fx to be Px into Qx plus Rx, where Qx is some other uh, polynomial. And... Uh, this rx is the remainder polynomial which is either equal to 0 or the degree of this polynomial is less than the degree of px. So we can substitute in place of x u over here. So we have f of u is equal to p of u into q of u plus r of u. But u is a root of irreducible polynomial p. 
p of x that means p of u is 0 if p of x is 0 this term is equivalent to 0 and we are only left with f of u is equal to r of u now this thing is equal when you have substituted u in it so from here can we say something about the degree of uh, rx and f of x yes we know by division algorithm degree of rx is strictly less than the degree of px and what was the degree of pn px it was n so the degree of rx is strictly less than n that means the degree of fx is also strictly less than n so let us call this to be n n minus 1 so in this case the polynomial rx we we assume polynomial rx to be this of degree n minus 1 therefore what is r of u r of u is simply when you replace this x by u over here so this is r u and this is equal to f of u because we have just proved this thing therefore the whatever element we have chosen from the extension field f of u that element has now been represented as a linear combination of the elements 1 u up to u n minus 1 thus the set 1 u up to u n minus 1 forms the generating set of f of u and we have already proved this set to be linearly independent therefore the set forms a basis of f of u over f moreover this set it has n elements within it therefore the dimension of f of u when it is taken to be a vector space over f that is equal to 2 that is equal to n which is also called the degree of f of u over f well that is it for this video thank you for watching